universal energy technique for the neck extensors. We're focusing on post-isometric relaxation. And we're going to look at two different types of an MET. One bilaterally for the neck extensors. And the second looking unilaterally at the neck muscles for lateral flexion. So we have four main neck extensors. The upper fibres of the trapezius, levator scapula, and the two splenius muscles, capital and cervicis. In particular, in this presentation, we're going to focus on the upper trapezius and the levator scapula. A quick anatomy recap of the trapezius. So this is the large muscle, quite superficial, in the upper part of the back. It originates on the occiputs at the base of the skull and the ligament nuci, which is the ligament along the first six cervical vertebrae. It inserts into the lateral third of the clavicle, so it comes around to the anterior part of the body, attaches into the acromion, the spine of the scapula, and then the spinous process is right down to thoracic vertebra 12. So as you can see, this muscle has lots of different attachment points, which means that it will create lots of different types of actions. The main one in the presentation we're going to be focusing on is the bilateral extension of the head and neck and also the unilateral lateral flexion. But it also covers the rotation to the opposite side. It can elevate, adduct, and depress, and upwardly rotate the scapula. So it has lots of movement potential. Next muscle is the levator scapula. It originates on the first of the fourth cervical vertebra. So it goes deeper behind the trapezius and inserts into the medial border and the superior angle of the scapula, so the top corner of the scapula. And these muscles are deeper to the trapezius. The actions, similar to the trapezius, bilaterally it extends the head and neck, unilaterally it can laterally flex the head and neck, but it also elevates, downwardly rotates the scapula, and then rotates the head and neck to the same side, which is different to the trapezius, which is the opposite side. So let's begin with the MET for neck extension. MET for the neck extensors. So in this position, we want the, to have a look at the range of movement from this position. And it's more difficult when the client is lying down, but we're looking at the quality of movement as well as the range of movement. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the cushion away from Pentony. Lift your head up for me, Pentony. And then get you to put your head down for me. That's it, from there. And from here, all I want Pentony to do is to bring her chin towards her chest. And we're looking at that particular type of movement and the quality of that movement. So when you're ready, Pentony, chin towards your chest. So we can see as we get to that top range from there, it's not as smooth as we'd like it to be. So we can be in a seated position on a stool or we can go into a squat and then stand up as well. So I'm going to demonstrate the squat into the stand up position. So taking the stool away, you want a nice deep squat position when you're in this position. I want Penty to shuffle up towards me a little bit more. So Penty, come a little bit closer. Now we want to place our hands underneath her head. So I'm going to take my right hand, and the right hand's going to go onto your, her left shoulder, and left hand is going to go onto right shoulder. Lift your head up pentally for me, that's it. So one hand comes under this way, and the other hand comes under here. And then she can relax into my arms. My arms are supported on the couch, and I'm just supporting the shoulders here, because as she wants to bring her head forwards, these shoulders will want to lift up. So from here, I'm going to ask pentany, so while I'm supporting the shoulders, just to gently press into my hands, um, a light contraction, so 10% for 10 seconds. Now it's easy for her to do this because she's quite relaxed in this position and I'm not taking any of the weight because I'm squatting and my legs are relaxing. So that's three, two, take a nice big deep breath in and breathe out. We want to wait for Pensy to relax completely in this position and when she has, we're going to go up a little bit further. Still holding onto the shoulders and supporting the shoulders. I've got my nice deep squat position. So once you've held that for 10 seconds, and then we go again. So Pentony, just gently press your head into my arms, just that 10%. So we hold that one for 10 seconds. Three, two, take a nice big deep breath in, and big deep breath out, relax. Then we just pause there to wait for your client to relax completely. And then we go up a little bit further, and I'm just coming out of my squat a little bit higher up. Hold for 10 seconds. I think we could do one more in this position here. So Pentony, just keep my pressure into my hands. That's three, two, one. Big deep breath in, and big deep breath out and relax. 
So I'm going to go up a little bit further. And I'm going to hold this one for 20 seconds. And then from there, we're going to lower down and gently place Pentalee's head back onto the couch. And then from there, we can ask Pentany to check her range of movement again. So Pentany, when you're ready, chin towards your chest. And as you can see, there's better range, but also the quality of movement is better. And then we have the MET for lateral flexion. So we can also do it unilateral, working on one side at the same, one side at a time. So from here, we want to place the hand on the shoulder and the other hand supported from the head by the side of the ear. So we're taking ear to shoulder away from each other. So the same thing, you can get whichever side to contract. So Pensley can either bring her shoulder up and then we can stretch away or we can go ear towards shoulder and then stretch away that way. The same thing applies. So we're going to hold that contraction for then 10 seconds. We have the breath and we take it a little bit further. And that's just another way of doing it on one side rather than both sides.